I cannot take this. I can give you 25 statements he has made proving beyond a reasonable doubt that he is a far-left radical. Why do you have to assume that because a man is called Pope, he's infallible? Why must you assume because he's kindly that he's actually kindly? Is Obama not a quiet man? Never yells. I've told you this over and over again. When has Obama screamed and yelled? He's too smart for that. He shows you the dice side, and he works around the clock to undermine the very foundations of democracy. And so I see the seamless integration between this radical in the White House, and now we see a radical in the church house. Why do you think that there's a, a giant love fest going on between Obama and the Pope? Because politically, they're one and the same. Only this time he's using the teachings of God himself to peddle a communist message, a message, by the way, that the church opposed through the, the whole of the last century. Do you know that? The church was vehemently anti-communist. There's a huge revolution brewing in the, in the Vatican right now amongst bishops. And this nice pope, by the way, this political player here, do you know that he demoted all of the conservative bishops? Did you know that? Who did not back him on his message? He did to them what John Boehner did to the conservatives in the House of Representatives. He threw them out. Well, they're forming a coalition to get rid of this pope. Did you know that? You didn't know that either. Listen, I do this for a living. And I'm not saying you can't learn it yourself. You can. But most of you don't have the time to study these things. I agonize day and night over what's going on. And to the detriment of my own health and sanity, I have to maybe slow it down a bit. I have never seen such hypocrisy in my whole life. But the bigger word here is not hypocrisy. It's sanctimony. I guess it's the sanctimoniousness of today's appearances that really got to me. On that note, I'll take a quick, quick break. I'll be right back. Join the Savage Nation. Call now, 855-400-SAVAGE, 855-400-7282. Savage. The Savage Nation is sponsored by Swiss America, the only company I trust with my financial future. Call 800-289-2646 or SwissAmerica.com. The Pope is a religious leader. He's not a political figure. He's never said he's a political figure. And look, the, the climate is changing. And um, it's, a, uh, it's a creation of God and people of faith, right. I That's think. Jeb Bush, who's been changing ever since he began running for the presidency. Jeb Bush is changing more than the climate, believe me. And in his case, it's definitely anthropomorphic. Welcome back to the Savage Nation. Yeah, anthropomorphic changing. There's no question about it. Let me do this for you. I'm going to read you something. I'm going to read you just the outline. I don't want to bore you. In uh, Government Zero, I have a long chapter from pages 192 to 219 on zero religion, Lenin's Pope. The first subhead is Hitler's Pope. And I defended the Pope from World War II many times on this show, going back 20 years, because he was definitely not Hitler's Pope. I then go into politicizing the papacy. papacy. I then talk about channeling Lenin. I then talk about the power of religious authority. The Pope attacks free speech. What is the Pope defending? The Pope promotes junk science. The real agenda behind the climate change scam. And the Marxist encyclical on care for our communist home. Page 219. Chapter 9 I didn't even mention yet. It's followed up with chapter 9 which is zero science. Neatly follows the Pope's illiterate, illiterate messages on global warming. And that zero science chapter includes Lysenkoism, purging scientists in the Soviet Union who dissent and who disagree in America. And I talk about how real science works. And then I say global warming and cooling are natural. And then I talk about inconvenient research, showing the Vostok ice core samples, something I'm sure Francis never heard about. And then I ask, where's the warming? And then I cover the junk journalism for junk science. These are just two of many chapters in a 100,000-word book. And all of my statements are referenced in the book. Now, many of you are religious zealots, and you don't want to listen to reason. And sometimes you don't even want to accept that your own church has been taken over by anti-church forces. But I'm not alone in this analysis. If I were, I wouldn't be saying it as vociferously as I am. Conservative Catholics in the church agree with me. Only you haven't heard one word from them, have you? Have you seen or heard one dissenting bishop today as this false prophet came marching through our country? 
disseminating his lies, and that we don't take in enough immigrants, we're a filthy, dirty nation, we're destroying the earth. No, you haven't heard one Catholic bishop who disagrees with this imposter, have you? Any more than you hear any dissent about Obama from the Democrat Party. That's what you call government zero and church zero. You heard it first in the Savage Nation. Be here or be nowhere. Join the Savage Nation. Call now, 855-400-SAVAGE, 855-400-7282. Savage. Warning, the Savage Nation contains adult language, adult content, psychological nudity. Listener discretion is advised. And now, America's most exciting radio talk show, The Savage Nation, home of unprotected talk, borders, language, culture. And here he is, Michael Savage. And so... God. Your okay. Hour three. My loyal listeners remain. And by the way, in this hour, we're getting hit with them. Um, I've been exhausted from the first two hours of Catholics who are attacking me, not understanding how they've been hoodwinked by Pope Francis, not understanding that this, this man's message is anathema to Catholicism itself. He is preaching a naked Leninism, Marxism, communism, whichever way you want to put it. How could you not see that? Two hours I've taken it. Well, now we have people calling who agree with me. Some of them are religious, some are not religious. You look at Genesis itself. The only Bible I believe in is the Old Testament. That's if I ever believe in anything at all anymore. And I don't know what I believe in other than survival. And Esau lifted up his voice and wept. And Isaac, his father, answered and said unto him, Behold, of the fat places of the earth shall be thy dwelling, and of the dew of heaven from above. And by thy sword shalt thou live. Did you hear that? And by thy sword shalt thou live. And here we have a false prophet coming to America, going to the sacred ground of 9-11 and talking in general terms about who did it to us and telling us to embrace diversity. Embrace diversity at the 9-11 memorial? To me, that's disgusting. Embrace those who killed us? He had every opportunity to talk about radical Islam. He didn't utter a word about the rapes, the murders, the burning of the churches, not a word about the Catholic girls who are screaming now in rape, in rape hotels in the Middle East. Yeah, oh, they exist. You're not reading about it in the news. You're not reading about it in the mirror. You're not reading about it in the Post or the New York Times. But these rape hotels exist. You know who Hitler got to man the concentration camps, don't you? He got the scum of the earth, the drunks, the drug addicts, the sadists, the murderers off the gutters of Germany. And he gave them a uniform and a, a baton, and he had them control the poor victims who were in the concentration camps, rape them if they wanted, mutilate them if they wanted, whatever they wanted to do, that's who we got in there. That's how he took the vermin off the streets of Germany, the good Germans, and put them into the concentration camp to run them. Well, who do you think ISIS appeals to? Do you think he, ISIS appeals to the average Muslim? who hates ISIS, they appeal to the same level of vermin that Hitler appealed to. The sadists, the murderers, the rapists, the mass murderers. Uh, and what do they promise those who join ISIS? That they can keep what they steal when they invade a village, and they're gonna get mainly it's sex. Did you know that all these great holy Muslims are drawn in by sex. It's all about sex, sex, sex. These are guys who can't attract the girl in their home country because they're disgusting wrecks of humanity. So they're told, not only will you get girls, we're going to give you a couple of them. You can do what you want with them around the clock. That's what's going on right now. And instead of appealing to Muslims around the world to stand up to these, to these subhumans, and tell them not to be called in by them because they're appealing to the, the worst of humanity. He didn't say a word about it. He tells us to embrace diversity in America. When has the, the Vatican embraced diversity? When has the Vatican embraced diversity? Well, anyway, I've made my point. I'm not going to keep doing this. I can't wait till this meddler goes back to Rome and leaves us alone already. I'm offended that the whole nation has come to a halt 
for any religious figure. It wouldn't be just the Pope. I'd be, I'd be shocked if this happened with any other religion. How is this happening? Is this country largely Catholic? Robert, am I mistaken that it isn't? Is the country not dom predominantly Protestant? Am I mistaken in that? Is this nation not... It, look, it's predominantly a Christian nation, despite what uh, they would tell you on the media. And of the Christians who compose the majority religion in America, is the majority of that majority not Protestant? Then why is the entire media now suddenly obsessed with this communist leftist rhetoric of the Pope? What is going on here? Well, I answered my own question. It's his politics, isn't it? It's not his religion. Now, you'd expect mass hysteria from school children. They don't know any better. That's why they're called children. But would you expect mass hysteria from Roger Ailes? Would you expect mass hysteria to have stricken the showgirls on Roger Ailes' network? I mean, they even they stopped flipping their head. They're all in awe over the Pope all of a sudden. They're all Catholic schoolgirls now. All the hair flippers and leg crosses are suddenly Catholic schoolgirls again. I'm surprised they didn't get out their, their check skirts for today. I'm surprised that they, I'm, so, I'm sure that by tonight, Martha Washington will be wearing her check skirt from her Catholic school days. It's awesome. The hypocrisy, the, the, it, it's unbelievable to me. So can we go on to something else? The answer is no. No, we won't go on to something else. And I've tried to show you that I've studied this. It's not like I'm just doing it for effect. I'm not doing it for ratings. This is very important because the propaganda now is overwhelming. From the White House, from the media, we've seen it. We've fought against it. Now we see the propaganda from the progressive Islamist takeovers coming from the church itself, the Catholic church at that. How is that even possible? Well, I know a prophet who saw this coming. And for a year, he's been doing a book on it called Government Zero. And that's me. I'm not a prophet. I'm just an American who can analyze things. It's that simple. And so I'd like to take some of your calls on the Savage Nation. MAL, Washington, D.C. Cliff, you're first up this hour. Go ahead, please. The Pope is the leader of the Roman Catholic Church. If the Roman Catholics would read their Bible they would probably come away with the same thing that Martin Luther came, came away with, and they labeled him a heretic, and he's one of the reasons that I'm Protestant. He nailed 95 theses to the Wittenberg door, and basically Roman Catholicism has, has not to this day answered most of those. Indulgence and praying for the dead are two that I can point out. But, Michael, think about something. You caused me to think. The earth was thought to be flat, and the Roman Catholic Church actually labeled people that were in opposition to that as heretics. Is the world flat, Michael? But that's what they're doing with scientists who don't believe in the global warming lie. They're calling them heretics. That's what the Pope is doing, adding to that lie. They're doing what they did to Galileo all over again. This man is a throwback. Right path, Michael. Thank you, brother. Well, I'm no, I don't know. I, well, you st is he still on the line? I want to send him Government Zero when it comes out next week. I mean, it'll be sent out next week. It won't be out for a month. Hey, listen to me. This is amazing to me. This is amazing to me. Apparently, I'm not alone in this. I felt like uh, uh, wandering in the desert for the last three days on this radio show. I couldn't even sleep last night. I had a bad night last night because I said, you know what? They're going to misinterpret what you said, Michael. Watch out, all of those Catholics who have loved you all these years for defending the church, all those Catholics who loved you when you defended the Pope from World War II on your show when he was being called Hitler's Pope, all those Catholics who were with you when you were opposing illegal immigration being put forward by the liberal bishops, they're going to turn on you because they cannot carry the, the thought that the Pope is separate from the church and the church teachings itself. They are unable to separate the Pope from their own church and their own doxies. And they're going to condemn you. They're going to condemn you as sure as you're standing here. And I, I woke up today trepidatious. And something in the radio world happened that I think indicated that I was, I felt the wrath of the Catholic, uh, let us say, the Catholic um, power structure in New York City. I'll, I'll leave it at that. The wrath of the Catholic power structure has struck against me today. And I know pretty much who they are and what they think. And I, well, I'll live with it. Things happen. 
But today is another day. Tomorrow is yet another day. And the sun also rises. Monday is yet another day.